Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we finally, finally left for the Dune Sea. Got attacked by sand people multiple times, saved a hunter from his battle droids that his wife set on him, and we also just saved a sand crawler from a sand people attack. In this episode, let's continue exploring the Dune Sea. Here and find the Enclave, but first let's give, uh, HK here some more repairs. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. I'd like to try to restore some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Uh... Negatory. Uh, no, Master. You are not a droid, however. A piece. Let's get started. As you wish, Master. The first stage is the simple one, and that is accessing my central control cluster. This may take a while. First, you will need to open three panels. And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. I believe your operation was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have recovered information on my owner previous to the commercial officer, Master. Intriguing. What's so intriguing? Statement. It appears that my previous owner was a human senator on the planet Coruscant. A man of importance who obviously appreciated quality craftsmanship. How did he get a hold of you? Answer. I am unsure, Master. Any knowledge of my owner prior to him is still deleted. The Senator did assume I was a protocol droid, however. I do remember that I was very pleased to be the property of a Senator. One of his assistants discovered my assassination functions later through questioning. The assistant was quite alarmed and told the Senator I should be scrapped quickly to avoid a scandal. Naturally, the Senator had me eliminate the fool. So, we're not talking about a nice senator, I see. Observation. Senators are not nice, Master. They are either on top of the game or yesterday's news. My Master told me that frequently, you see. I was most proud to have partaken in the political system of the galaxy. During the time my owner possessed me, he gained significant rank. Given time, I believe he could have become Chancellor. I even eliminated a few key opponents that he did not ask for. Freebies, if you will. You can do that? Answer. Certainly. Why not? I am an intelligent droid, you know. I see an opportunity, and I take it. And my master was most pleased with my work. Observation. I think he would have done far better had he not allowed his use of me to become personal. He set me on his wife. Why would he do that? Answer. I am unsure. The human was most agitated and angry. I believe his wife had done something that had displeased him greatly. I was to go to their summer estate and terminate his wife, along with whatever male companion I discovered there. So his wife was cheating on him. Statement. I have no idea, Master. Cheating seems to be a relevant term only when one is caught in the act. Otherwise, it is viewed as intelligence. No? I journeyed to the southern continent, but it appeared my master was not far behind me. Apparently, he regretted his activation of the protocol. When I found the wife and her companion, I proceeded to launch my attack. But my master interposed his own body and was destroyed. It was rather a strange meatbag thing to do, do you not agree? Naturally, I shut myself down, my master being terminated. So what happened with the two... Who out of the two masters killed? Observation. Only so far, master. There are still more memories not recovered, remember? What happened to you then? Statement. I believe the senator's wife was unsure what I was or what to do with me. It was she who sold me to the corporate officer, an acquaintance. Have you recovered any other memories? Answer. As previously, I have found a few more programs which will enhance my performance. A most gratifying discovery, in fact. There is still nothing from previous memories uncovered. You will have to operate again if you desire to find them. With luck, I will discover the stimulus to unlock my core 
and all this will be unnecessary. I do thank you for the attempt, however, Master. Because of your repairs, HK-47 ha has now has a permanent bonus of plus two to his defense rating, in addition to the plus two dexterity bonus from your earlier repairs. Sweet. He's getting better and better. Mm, let's have a, uh, another look around here. Before we got, start heading for the direction of the Enclave. Why do I have... Yeah? Mission. Go recover that mine. Master? Sure. Oh, oh, someone needs help. See, perhaps I could persuade you not to do this. If you let me go, I'll tell others how smart you are. And I was able to avoid a fight. You do take a small bit of damage from that explosion, but yeah, if you uh, manage to persuade them, you can avoid having a fight with them. Yeah. Let's just recover this mine. Master? Yes. I see some sand people over there. Take him out. Good, he's dead. Apparently this guy came out of nowhere. Are they just spawning out of nowhere? Faces! Loot them clean. See, their enclave's supposed to be in that direction. We might as well dress up in sand people clothing so that way we can gain easier access to their enclave.
Take all their clothes and sticks. Master? What? And level up. See, um, defense rating, making them harder to hit. Let's up our wisdom. See, let's put a point into persuade. Let's get us heal. And there we go. Sand people territory. Let's quickly change our gear. We dress up like them, we might be able to sneak into their base. Sure. Huh? Also, another thing, if you're wearing sand people clothing, you won't get ambushed by them. Just avoid talking to them, otherwise you will trigger fights. Ready! What? There's their enclave. Okay, I honestly thought that was like a body or something. Ah, uh, Banthas. Too bad we can't ride it like a Bantha. Yeah, so while you're wearing the outfit, they won't attack you and you won't get ambushed, but don't try speaking to them until you're in the Enclave. Otherwise, you will trigger a fight. And those turrets at the door, they are invincible, I believe. They will not take damage and they will eventually kill you. So you need to sneak into the Enclave this way. I'm also going to pop a save, so that way I can do the peaceful talks without any chance of screwing this up. Also, make sure all your party members, with the exception of HK, is wearing the Sand People outfit. Quickly, tell him that I'm not a threat. Translation. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Apologize eyes for being here. Say we want peace. Translation. Translation. Expressing disbelief, as am I, but his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Tell him we want a peaceful solution. Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. 
Translation, he requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, master? Ask him what he wants. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Um. Will he also tell us about any captives he has? Translation. He says you will get no more answers until you have proven you are an ally of the Sand People. Tell him we'll get his evaporators. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. You will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait. But he doesn't believe we are coming back. All right, so let's put our clothes back on. Acknowledgement. Yes, we need to go and get some evaporators. So for now, I believe the sand people, at least around the all enclave, will act peacefully towards us. Um. So we need to return to Anchorhead to get the evaporators, which I don't think you could possibly get the evaporators until uh, the chieftain asks you to get them. At least I don't think I have them anyway. Let me look at my items. Probably under quest items. Hunter's license, prison key, maps. Yeah, I don't have them. So we need to return to Anchorhead. So let's do the long walk back through the desert. To the Dune Sea. Sand crawler. I'm curious, what type of sand crawler is this? Because I don't think I've ever seen this sand crawler outside of Knights of the Old Republic. I'm used to seeing the ones that we see in modern Star Wars, in like most Star Wars media that the jaw was used, but I've never seen this particular type of sand crawler. Matter of fact, it looks bigger than uh, the generic sand crawler uh, the, the jaw was known to use. Walking through the desert. Wish it was more interesting, cause there's literally nothing interesting to see here. So we need to find a place that sells moisture evaporators. Uh, 
probably be in one of the shops. Oh. I was gonna say, it's like, why is there an invisible wall there? Doubts in the swoop uh, track races. Let's try the circle office. Hello, do you have evaporators? Uh, what do you have available for purchase? Do you have any moisture evaporators? To exchange with the sand people to stop their attacks. See, I'll take the moisture preparators for 400. We got ourselves some voice moisture evaporators. Hopefully this can read a peaceful solution with the sand people. Let's make our way all the way back to the enclave. So yep, you have to do a long walk back, and as you saw, you cannot get the evaporators before meeting the Sand People Chieftain. So, you are forced to walk all the way back here, get the evaporators, and then walk all the way back. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization and trip to get, but not me. Good hunting out there. Yeah, you need to walk all the way back if you're planning on doing this for a for, uh, for a peaceful solution. With the Sand People. There's nothing stopping you from like just murdering the entire Sand People uh, enclave. Once you get in there with the Sand People disguises. But um... Yeah, but if you want to resolve this situation peacefully, you're going to need to do this. The sand crawler is still on fire. And those miners said they would leave the sand crawler, they haven't even left yet. Under the shadow of the crawler. Oh yeah, there's also these creatures out here that you can hunt. Take him out. I wanted to loot the body, not jump and attack this guy. Statement. I didn't want to talk to you, AK. Get these. I can sell them to the hunting lounge later for some money. And I believe these creatures always respawn here, so if you want some cash, uh, hunting them down is not a bad idea. As I believe they always respawn in the Dune Sea whenever you leave it. Do 
the sand people territory. Some more mines. Ready. What? Let's return and make peace with the chieftain. I will say with the sand people, I think. I do love if anybody's ever seen the Mandalorian, how they treated the Sand People in the Mandalorian, and actually showed that they are not the savages that, uh, that they are normally portrayed as. As, and they're actually people you can negotiate with. It was actually really interesting. Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Tell them we have the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Tell them we have our evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Um, I have a few questions to ask him. Protocol. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, be careful of what you ask. Ask him about, uh, ask him about the star map. Translation. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the Eastern Dune Sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence in the excavation. A crate dragon? What is that? How do I pass? Translation. Translation. Your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation, the hunter is a Twi'lek. He will be in the Eastern Dune Sea somewhere. Ask him about the, uh, the captives. Clarification, we must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Ask him about the Jawas Liz told us about. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Ask them if they know about Mission's brother Griff. Translation. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this Griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance of usefulness to them. Yep, that would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we can do it, Master. Uh, let's go back to some other questions. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. I want information on the Sand People culture. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Uh, why are you so hostile to outsiders? Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this 
This is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. He says you are blind. Translation, his people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. What does he mean by raise myself above the land? Translation. Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred animal is the only external tool to be used. Ask why he bargained for evaporators if they are unnatural. Translation. Translation. He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation. If your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. How does he have contact with the land while completely covered? Translation. Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. Never? Not even in death? Translation. Translation. Never. That is their way, Master. Uh, do not ask him this, because if you say this, he will attack you. Tell me the history of your clan. Translation. He says that he will not, Master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Ask if we could meet the storyteller. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. How can I prove myself uh, of a worthy warrior? Translation. Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. What is a dragon pearl? Translation. Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently they are valuable items. Tell him farewell for now. Translation. We are free to leave. So we managed to organize a peace with the sand people. So, with this done, and I think we'll end things off here in the next episode. Oh, we'll save the captives and then go looking for this crate dragon. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow, and I'll see you all next time. Later.